In this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to factor these three expressions. And you can see how similar they are. Here we have x squared, and this is x cubed, and this is x to the 6th power, right? And then it's all minus 64. And I will also like to tell you, these three are also, in my opinion, the three most famous factoring questions, especially the, the last one. But anyways, let me tell you, this is the easiest one, median, and the hardest. And we will do the easiest first. x squared minus 64, we are going to do this by looking at this as x squared minus 8 squared. Difference of 2 squares, right? And of course, the answer for this, you will know this is going to be x minus 8 times x plus 8. And this is it. I told you this is the easiest one, right? For this, x to the third power minus 64. This is going to be difference of two cubes. So right here, I will look at this as x to the third power and then minus for the 64. It is the same as 4 to the third power. Well, let's factor this. We will get x minus 4 in the first parentheses. And then for the second parentheses, we are going to get x squared, so let me put down x squared, and then we add this times that, x times 4, which is 4x. At the end, we add 4 squared, which is 16. Okay? Remember the formula, a to the third power minus b to the third power, it's going to be a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. That's how you factor the difference of two cubes. And now, what can we do with this? Well, here we have x to the 6th power, and this is 64, right? You can do this technically in two ways. We can look at this as the sum, the difference of two cubes. And we can also look at this as the difference of two squares. And let me put down both right here for you guys. It's possible to look at this as something square minus something square, right? And if you want to fill in these two parentheses, well, we will have. For the first one, let's just put in x to the third power. And then for the 64 in here, it's just an 8, right? This is the first way. Or we can also do it as something to the third power minus something to the third power. Because if you do, for the x to the sixth power, I can put in x squared. And then for this, I can put down a 4. So which one's easier? Well, the first one, let me tell you, it's easier. And perhaps if there's a request, if you comment down below, I will show you guys how to factor from here. But the way we're going to approach it is from this, okay? So look at this as a difference of two squares. I will look at this as something squared minus something squared. And we talked about it already x to the third power, and 8, right? And this is a squared minus b squared, so we know a minus b, right? And then the other one is just a plus b, which is x to the third power, plus 8. Now what? Now this is a difference of two cubes, and this is the sum of two cubes. We can factor them out, right? So let's look at this as x to the third power minus, for the 8, 2 to the third power. And let's get to work for this one first. So put a line in between. For this one, we will get x minus 2 right here in the first parentheses. And then for the second parentheses, we will have x squared. And then we add this times that, which is 2x. And then we add 2 squared which is 4, and then we are done. But then we also have to factor this out. The, uh, this, is the sum of, this is the sum of two cubes, so we can factor it out, right? Look at this as x to the third power plus 2 to the third power. To factor this out, we will get x plus 2. And then for the second parentheses, we will have x squared minus this times that, which is going to give us 2x. And at the end, we take the look of the 2, and we square that, which is going to give us 4. This right here 
is it. And if you want to rearrange them, you know, put the two terms, two terms first, and then the three terms, three terms later, it's okay. It's up to you. But of course, you can present this to be the answer as well. So if you guys comment down below, I will show you guys how to factor from here. And there's also an interesting thing I can talk about if you want to do it from this way.